As an artist, what does it mean to really make it to you? Is it defined by money, fame, attention, eyeballs? And who defines it? Who decides if you've made it or not? Today, I want to invite you to reimagine and redefine what that looks like for you. Hello, everyone. My name is Misako Bella, and thank you so much for pressing play on today's video. The concept of making it is something that I, I think about often, to be honest, and it's because it's I just say it so often. I can't wait until I make it. This is going to be the year that I make it. Um, make it, make it, make it. And I had an experience recently that um, that made me like reflect and question what that really reflect on and question what that really means to me. Um, I, I was watching a movie with a group of friends. Something that I just need to do more often as someone who just loves films and documentaries specifically. I don't take enough time to just sit and appreciate art. Oftentimes we're like so focused on putting things out and producing that we don't take enough time to just sit and appreciate the art that has been created. So I'm really happy I had this moment and I, I gained so much clarity and inspiration from watching this one film with my friends. Um, and we got to the end of the movie. In that moment, I was like, why is that the thing that creators and um, performers, people in this industry, why are we chasing that? Um, is that what it means to make it? To, to succeed in this space. Um, and I was just like overcome with this feeling of gratitude. For a while now, to be honest, I've questioned why, and I'm talking about um, film and, and, and video specifically, why we still give so much power to traditional, like ho Hollywood why when we have these platforms to create and distribute and have creative control over the art that we create why we have still and and also the ability to build real communities and with real connections why we some of us still feel like that is the the pinnacle of um of film and and digital media um, or just like, I guess, film. This is digital media. I decided a while ago that I was no longer going to chase that. I love being able to sit down and decide what I wanna create and be able to just put it out there and have a real connection with the people that are watching. Um, I don't want to like go through the um, grueling audition process over and over again um, and be told like when I'm allowed to do this. I, I, I love YouTube. I love being on YouTube. I love being able to make what I want when I want and I never want to take that for granted. Um, and I sort of like that feeling was sort of solidified in this moment that I was watching or after I finished watching um, this film. Like I said, this overwhelming sense of gratitude just rushed over me because I realized like I have made it. I get to create what I love, build a connection with all of you, um, have such a, like a loving and supporting community and grow at the same time, all while having a roof over my head um, and food in my stomach and the resources to make these things. I have made it. And it like brought me to tears, this realization that this whole time I was talking about making it and I, I'm living my dream. Think about when, when you were a kid and people asked you what you wanted to be um, when you grow up, you would just say the thing, like, I wanna be a dancer, I wanna be an actor, I want um, to be, uh, an artist, whatever it is, you wouldn't attach so many things to that, you know? And now it's it's not enough to just do the thing. Why? And I understand that we have to survive and keep the lights on, but even that, why, when did having your passion be your career um, equate to making it? When did making money off of your passion equate to making it? Um, 
it's just like an interesting concept. I would love for that to be my reality. I would love to have the budgets to create the documentaries and films that I'd like to create, but that part of it doesn't define if I've made it or not. And when did I get confused about that? I want to remind you that at some point in your life, the idea of just having the time and the space to do the thing was your idea of making it. And now you're here and you're doing the thing. And I, I just want you to celebrate that and be proud of yourself. You have the courage and maybe you don't have the perfect resources, but you're making the best out of what you have. You've carved out the time um, and you're doing it and you're learning and you're growing. You have made it, you have. And of course, Dreams can grow, they can evolve, they can change. I'm not encouraging you to be um, complacent. I guess I'm just encouraging you to be more grateful as I've encouraged myself to be more grateful. And so how do we redefine and reimagine what it means to make it? The first thing that I would encourage you to do and what I've been doing is just to focus on the fact that I'm doing the thing. To be grateful for the fact that I have my health, and the ability to do the thing and the support, that is so, so important. The support from all of you, from my family, from my friends. Focusing on what I do have, moving into a space of gratitude around the fact that I just get to do what I love is, is the first thing I, I did in this process of redefining what it means to make it. That alone has completely shifted how I feel about this concept. Like I feel like the luckiest person in the world, like I have really made it. Um, and I just would encourage you to do the same. Like simply, if you're, if you're a painter, simply like having an hour out of the day to sit down with your canvas and paint uninterrupted, isn't that what it's all about? Isn't that what it means to make it? Like when, before you even had the time to do it, isn't that all you wanted? Um, just think about that. I, I, that's where I would start. And then the next part of it is like focus on how you feel. Um, I think what a lot of us are, are chasing is that like feeling of joy and freedom um, and losing track of time in your craft. Focus on the fact that like you get to experience that or when you are in that moment, like sort of relish in it. The last part of redefining what it means to make it is not giving your power away to external forces. I mentioned earlier how there are a lot of people who have decided that people in Hollywood get to determine if they've made it or not. And I just think that that is really harmful and can break your spirit. And I've been there. I I've, I've, was very deep in the audition cycle when I, I lived in LA. And I, I even, <laughs> I can't trying to get it out. I just knew that was not going to be my way, that that system wasn't, it wasn't made for me. Um, and it didn't feel good to be in that process. So I had a feeling even when I was going through it, that that wasn't going to be my way to make art. And, um, and I just, I, I would encourage you to, you all to, to just reclaim your power as an artist. There are so many resources and tools, platforms, communities, and things that are available to us. We don't need to wait for certain people to give us permission to do the thing, absolutely not, and determine if we're good enough. You're doing the thing. You have everything that you need within you. I just want, I just want to remind you of that. Let me be your mirror and you don't have to attach yourself to these figures, dollars, views, um, any of that. In the comments below, I'd love to know what making it means to you. And it doesn't have to mean, we don't have to have the same definitions. I welcome everyone's, everyone's definition in the comments below. Thank you so much for pressing play on today's video. Thank you so much for showing up for me. Thank you so much for being patient with me. And as always, Thank you for being here.